I can't stress enough how important it is to make sure that you back up your course content. Your institution may already have a backup strategy that's implemented to make sure that your courses are automatically backed up. But it's a really nice safeguard to get in the habit of backing up your own course on a periodic basis. This is incredibly useful, especially if you teach at multiple different institutions, where you may be teaching the same class at different locations, and you don't want to have to rebuild all of the work. You can also use the backup tool as just a safeguard to keep track of all of your courses to make sure that you can always work on them should you move to another Moodle installation or to another learning management system. To create a backup of your course, all you need to do is log into your course and in the settings block on the left hand side, click the link for backup. Now depending on your specific permissions, you may have more or fewer items that you're able to back up for each course. The default settings allow for a teacher to back up all of their course content but not necessarily back up any of the user content. So in this case, we're able to back up our activities, our blocks, and our filters. With these items checked, go ahead and click the Next button in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. Next, we'll get a chance to select the individual items that we want to back up. Again, the default settings do not allow us to back up student data or user data. So we can go through and we can just check the particular items that we want to have backed up within our course. You want to make sure that every single item is checked that you want to make sure that you have a backup of. Go ahead and scroll down through the list and you can have a look at all the individual items that we've created. When you get to the bottom, simply click the Next button in the lower right hand corner. Next, you're given the chance to be able to name your backup. Now you can create your own custom backup name or you can take the default one that's created for you. In this case, it's written in the form of Backup Moodle 2, indicating the type of backup that it is that it's a course backup, which course you're backing up. In our case, we're backing up the BIOL 432 course. Then there's a date stamp in the form of the year, month, and day, and then a unique identifier number. Now, your unique number here is not going to match exactly mine, nor will your date, but you'll have something similar. It will also have the .mbz backup file extension for Moodle backup file. You're given one more chance to see the items that are going to be backed up, and then you can scroll down to the bottom and click the Perform Backup button in the lower right hand corner. Now this process may take a few minutes depending on the amount of content that you have in your course. When the backup has been completed, you're given a page that lets you know that and you can click the Continue button. Now once you've continued, you're able to see all of the backups that you've created. Here's the most recent backup that we've just set up. Throughout the course, I've been periodically creating my own backups. The backups use the current file name the time and date, the size, a link to be able to allow you to download that to your local server. You can simply just click that link and it will download your entire course backup. You can use this backup file then to take to another Moodle server or to take into a local Moodle install like we've set up for this course. There's also a restore link so that you can restore a particular backup into your course. Let's go ahead and return back to our course by clicking on the BIOL 432 link in our breadcrumbs. And in the next movie, we'll look at how to restore a particular file out of our backup.